boys and girls. Welcome back with Miss Linda. Today we're going to do some marble painting. You're going to need a container with a lid or you can have a cookie sheet or a little the boxes, whatever you want to use. I'm going to show you two different ways of marble paint today. The first way, you're going to take a strip of paper that fits inside of your little container. Make sure your container has a lid that will fit securely on it. So you're going to put your paper inside just like this and then you're going to want to add some marbles. I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five marbles. Actually, let's do three marbles. Save two for the other one. So I'm going to put three marbles in here. Next, I'm going to add some paint. Now you don't want to put a whole lot of paint on here. You just want to kind of squish a little bit of paint like that. Drizzle it in. I chose orange, green, and red. Kind of fall-like. I guess if I'd chosen yellow, it would have been more fall-like. But you don't need a lot of paint. Just a little squishes. Next, securely put your lid on. You don't want it to go flying everywhere. All right, you got it? The next thing you need to do is Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. You can put on some music. those little cardboard um, boxes you can get at the store that are kind of narrow. You're going to do the same thing, same idea. You're going to put on some paint, just splatter it around, not a lot. Just kind of splatter it around, just like so. Oh, there. Whoop, that's a big lot. That might make a huge mess. And next, you're going to put some marbles in here. I'm going to put one, two, might as well use the ones I already had. Three marbles. And when you're going to very carefully just kind of turn it. You can use big marbles, little marbles. But this is going to teach kind of balancing with the kids. They're going to really like to move it across the paper and watch the lines change directions all over the paper. With younger kids, you could even use a full-size box so that they're not knocking the marbles out of the tray if they have a little bit less coordination or a little bit more excitement but with the older children who have a little bit more control you can use something simple like a cookie sheet and here you go these are your marble paintings ta-da <laughs> 